Welcome back everybody. Let me present you this, the 2022 Brabus GLS 800 Maybach. Very long name, but it's worth to speak it out because this is special. You have already a normal GLS 600 Maybach, which is very luxury and very nice. But here on the Brabus GLS 800, it's so much better. Now they found out a way to modify an already elegant car even more without looking mm, cheap or bad. Starting from the front, we have carbon fiber in the front bumper here in the middle and on the other side and also so-called front splitter, also carbon fiber here. Uh, it's the underwrite right protection normally. Also carbon fiber and with our car being black, completely matching carbon fiber and black. And what I really like, normally I'm not a big fan of blacked out stuff, but here the front grille completely is from chrome change to black. Everything blacked out in car color, perfect matching. You got the Brabus signature over here and they even did the Distronic uh, plate for the adaptive, adaptive cruise control. It's like kind of shadow gray black stuff. Perfect matching and especially when you look from a little bit more far away, the front looks really good. It's not a badass car, just a little bit, but still elegant and understatement. With the lights, you have a prestige and it's, yeah, good looking. Now, when we go to the sides, what comes to your eyes is the wheels. We have masses, massive 24 inch monoblock M wheels, completely in black, of course, matching on the car. Uh, uh, the, car completely is blacked out, everything. So you got the roof rails in black, you got the window frames in black, you got the logos in black, you got the door handles in black, you got the running boards in black. Everything is blacked out, but on this particular car, my opinion, it looks really, really nice. Let's take a closer look. So we got the big, big wheels. I really like it. 24 inch wheels, as I said, the biggest one you can get and completely in black. This design is perfect, I think, for the GLS because if you have a big car, you don't have to have a wheel which like is with thin uh, spokes, for example, that wouldn't look that good. So this big, massive wheel, perfectly fitting. We got the wheelhouse extensions here with carbon fiber. Very nice from all the way here to the front. Perfectly looking. We got a little hinge to the power over here. Now, and on the side, you can see it's completely black. Everything, what I told you, matching. The rear wheels, also 24 inch, and we got 335s on the rear, which is pretty big. Small details, which matter. Maybach logo, completely in black. A car color in this case. Now, the back. <laughs> oh, we have a massive back. We have a massive rear diffuser here with, of course, a carbon fiber inlay like in the front. And we have these big tailpipes with the Brabus signature uh, logo, not nah, both signature logo and big round massive tailpipes. Also, it got a sport exhaust. So it's not only for show, you will also hear it, but a little later. Then, of course, we have the uh, signatures on the car, black Brabus and the 800 also blacked out. Real lights, of course, you, you know them from Mercedes. It's LED real light technology, same in the front. And I think the more interesting thing is to look inside. Let me give you a small look. And if you open the door, aha, we got the running boards. Of course, there they are silver, a little extra touch and element. And of course, this car is a masterpiece. Let me show you why. Haha, <laughs> welcome to the ultimate lounge. So if you want to be driven, most likely in this car, or if you want to drive by yourself, this is the place to sit when you've been driven. Ultimate luxury for the inside and with a very nice color. This color is actually a color which is called Fawn and it's a very, very nice brownish tan color perfectly fitting to the black car, not too dark, not too light. It's just matching perfectly. So let's take a closer look. 
So welcome to the interior of the GLS 800 Brabus. Yeah, let me fire up the engine and I'm going to show you a little bit around. But before the steering wheel, of course a classic Maybach steering wheel, but with the leather also here and here and with black wood, which is very nice. And big shifting pedals, Brabus shifting pedals. So if you want to go really nuts and you change your gears by yourself, such a car, I would assume you won't, but maybe, I mean, do you have the possibility? You don't have to use it. It's good that they are there. So if you want, you can do. Um, so let me fire it up and we see what's happening. Of course, everything on Maybach. So we don't hear the engine so much, but I'm going to show it, uh, let you listen to it later. What do we have? We have a big, very nice interior. We got the screens. Of course, we are used to them from Mercedes, so you can adjust everything over there by touch or by the touchpad. Um, the interesting part is the comfort part because you got a lot of massage. Oh, I want to have one. Um, and oh, I will give also my cameraman a massage. Um, you can adjust here the seat. Uh, comfort, kinetics, lumber, side posters and everything. But the biggest thing is the ambient lightning. Again, I'm a little boy, I like to play. So we got multicolor, but I want single color blue. Perfect. Brightness, full up. All right. 100%. Great. Ah, you can see it. I like it. So that's the best part. Mercedes has a lot of things to play with. It's settings of the car. Head up display, steering assistant, etc. You can adjust everything over here. Uh, assistance because the car has all the assistances if it's parking assist, traffic sign assist, lane keeping assist, braking assist, uh, adaptive cruise control assist, blind spot assist, all the assists you can have the car has. Uh, lights you can, yeah, dipped beam, intelligent light system, surround lightning, which is nice, and of course the normal adjustments on the system. The style of the display can change. Languatronic, audio, Bluetooth, etc. You know all this stuff, I guess, already from the previous videos or because you have a car or you're interested in cars and you know already. Of course, the car is equipped with Bluetooth, um, Android, I mean, Apple CarPlay, smartphone integration, everything, navigation system, all cam cameras. What I really like is, to be honest, <coughs> here, I will show you my seat. Of course, you got heated front seats and ventilated front seats. And you have the flowing lines. So everything you see inside here is really wood with the flowing lines. I think that's the most elegant choice for a GLS Maybach. But in general, since Mercedes brought these out, it's my totally favorite. Piano black with flowing lines. It's elegant. It's not just black. Uh, it's, how can I say, it's kind of moving. And this is really special and really nice, I think, for such a car. And I know, can you see this here? Can you try to zoom it in, cameraman? Here, the new design of Brabos, they put their name in the leather. Very cool. It's the first time I see that, actually. But it's very, very nice. Now, the car is equipped with the big Burmester sound system. Uh, code 811, the Burmester 3D surround sound system, which is one of the best in the market. And for a GLS Maybach, the perfect choice, to be honest. It's great, and you have to have it. For big saloon cars or SUVs, it's the perfect choice of sound and you can enjoy a lot. You got the four zone climate control, two front, two back, of course. You have a big place for two cup holders, which can be cooled, but also heated and very nice. And you can put your cell phone over here. I'm not sure it's while it's charging. Yep, it's while it's charging. And you got some ports over here and you have a socket over here. You got the touchpad, you got the quick buttons where you come to, ah, by the way, the cameras. I put the cameras and I can go through the cameras. This is the front, big angle and small angle. The side, when I turn the wheel, you can see it. It's perfect if you want to park in a tight spot. You can see and not, um, try to avoid damaging your wheels. Rear camera with two different angles, with the car and without. Very, very nice. Perfect quality, of course, Mercedes-like. You got other quick buttons over here, navigation, radio, telephone, or the adjustments for the car. And this one is just to lay a hand on, like, ah, very nice. Well, I don't know who's driving like this. 
<laughs> um, this one is for the air suspension. You can uh, raise it and lower the car to make it more comfortable, but it automatically goes down when you drive on the highway. And we have also a center console. Well, small space. Yeah, with one port over here, you can put a loading cable in. Yeah, pretty good. But in this car anyway, the place to sit is not the front. It's definitely the back. And this is what I will show you right now. So this is the place to sit on the right rear. Now you can see I don't have so much space because my cameraman, he put the ba seat backwards when he was filming in the front. But I have a little button over here. Let the magic happen. I can adjust the seat from here. And I will check how much space I can get. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that's a lot, to be honest. Now look at this, I can easily sit like this. And I'm small, even big people can sit here. I'm 1.77 meters, so even bigger people have space. And it's very nice to sit here. Actually, I'm getting a massage, which is very nice right now. Uh, I have a screen over here where I can uh, steer everything what I want so far. Um, most interesting is the comfort stuff, massage, seat comfort, uh, the ambient lightning and the sun visors. I can close them as well. Ambient lightning is on blue. Uh, seat comfort, you can adjust the seats over here, but normally you don't do this because you have this one here. Electric seats in the back with memory and also heated and cooled. So everything you want you have over here. And you get the nice ambient lightning, the nice trim with the flowing lines, speakers over here, and also over here, which is very, very cool. They are illuminated as well there. And um, the big illumination has also taken place now here in the rear of the seat, where also we have some trim, the black wood. Very cool, very nice, very elegant. We have, of course, climate control, as I told you before, in the back. And we have cup holders as well. And you can also cool them and heat them. Here you got some space to put something in. You got here two U uh, HSBC ports. Oh, four. There also. Okay, four. And you got the wireless mobile phone charging as well. And if I'm driving, doing some business, and I put my laptop somewhere I want to put it or whatever I have a table actually yeah not so stable I'm afraid I would break it um, but I mean you don't want to go like this you put something on eating whatever yeah and then you can work or you just have them to show them <laughs> something else we have is in the center console over here which is nice because all in this leather, then you got the trim in uh, piano black with flowing lines, the Maybach logo. And what do we have here? Sorry. We got a fridge. You can adjust it in a uh, separate, uh, what was, uh, the freezing temperature. You can adjust it, this is what I wanted to say. And there you got it. Two bottles, three bottles easily would fit. Yeah, so you always got your cooled, I don't know, champagne, water, juice whatever you like with you very nice even the complete rear head shelf here is in wood i like that really this looks very luxurious the headliner is completely in alcantara in the same color as the seats um, and even the handles are in leather i really like these small details it's looking very very nice and luxurious i think very nice. The big panoramic roof, of course, is a Mercedes standard. Not the standard, but in those cars, it has to be normally standard. It's uh, lightened up on the side here and here. Maybe you can see it there better. Oh, it's hard to see, I think. Oh, maybe here. But it's very nice. So you have a big panoramic roof, which is um, very, very nice to look at. And so you can see uh, a lot of light is coming inside. And even if you look from the back to the front, now this leather makes the whole interior light. So you get space, you get lights from the outside, inside, reflecting on the seats. So it's more spacious than if you have a dark leather. Very cool. I like that. 
and I don't want to get out because the massage is really nice but I will show you also the, the trunk because with such a car you will go also for a travel or on holiday or be driven to holiday and the most interesting part is the engine and the sound so let's go now let's check out the trunk Aha! Ooh, this is nice also in leather and with a Maybach logo the upper part of the trunk door we have Alcantara and the lower one is also leather this is really nice and again the color is amazing now what do we have here we have the fridge over here that's the biggest part but the good thing is you can remove it very easy and then you get the full space uh-huh quality management ah okay you see signature and everything so we can check everything if anything is wrong we know who approved it good to know uh, over there we got the headphones for the rear entertainment and we did not put them but this is the cushions for the rear seats very nice very soft and we have this one here which is pretty nice look at this wait can i <laughs> like this carbon fiber and when we look inside who normally is the key of course i have it with me and we get some masterpiece oh it's heavy masterpiece so you can put it on your table or it weighs a lot you can use it but this is nice this certifies this car as a masterpiece it's a nice idea from bravos to make such a nice box from carbon fiber <laughs> cool i like that but what i like more is the engine let's check it out okay let's see Ooh, ooh, ooh. Welcome to the world of power. Ha. 800 horsepower, a carbon fiber engine cover with gold flakes. I'm not sure if you can see it, it's difficult to spot, but there are gold flakes in the carbon fiber, which is wow. Yeah, and of course, handcrafted. You got like an AMG, you got a plate who built this but i cannot read anything <laughs> sorry i would like to tell you the name but if you can do i can't that's the beast 800 horsepower a thousand new meters but i know you want to hear it let's do